exactly right. People are getting their mail ballots, and for those voting early and at the polls on Election Day, sample ballots go out next week. Our newest voter survey looks like this. On the Democratic side, former Congresswoman Gwen Graham is on top of the Mason-Dixon poll with 27 percent. Former Miami Beach Mayor Philip Levine is at 18 percent. Billionaire Jeff Green is at 12 percent. Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum is at 10 percent, and Chris King from right here in Winter Park, 7 percent. 26 percent are for other candidates or they're undecided. Now, let's take a look at the Republican contest. Congressman Ron DeSantis is favored by 41 percent of likely GOP voters. Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam has 29 percent. Retired Army Captain Bruce Nathan has 2 percent and 28 percent right now are undecided. A closer look at the Democrats now. Graham has now consistently held a double digit lead in the race for the past three weeks worth of polls and Levine has edged up in support, making this look more like a two way race right now. Green with all of his money and the big splash he made jumping into the race late, maybe losing traction. DeSantis now has an 11 point lead on Putnam when you average the four polls taken during the past month. And I caught up with him at a campaign event today at the 55 plus Solavita community in Osceola County. That if voters understood the divide between the two of us, that it would be a clear choice. Um, I think they want somebody that, that's been a veteran. I think they want somebody that's exercised leadership in a principled way. And then I do think our voters appreciate somebody that the president has endorsed. From Putnam's campaign today, quote, Adam Putnam is running a Florida-based grassroots campaign. Unlike D.C. DeSantis, Adam Putnam doesn't need out-of-state media personalities to draw a crowd.